Have you ever kicked a soccer ball up into the sky and watched its U-shaped path, wondering how it would look on a graph? Chances are, your ball may have made a parabola as it arced up into the air and came back down again, hopefully into the goal. In this video, we'll review the standard and vertex forms of a parabola, and look at the types of ACT questions that might be asked about them. Let's start by defining a parabola. A parabola is a curve where any point is at an equal distance from a fixed point, the focus, and a fixed straight line, the directrix. First, let's look at the standard form of a parabola, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In this equation, a is the coefficient of x squared, or what x squared is multiplied by, and b is the coefficient of x, or what x is multiplied by and c is the constant term. It's a number, not a variable. Let's say the coefficient of x squared is 2, the coefficient of x is 3, and the constant term, or the number that's by itself, is 5. A parabola is a quadratic equation, so the highest degree of x in the equation is x squared. Let's review what a, b, and c tell us about the shape and location of the parabola on the xy coordinate plane. If a is positive, the parabola will open up, and if a is negative, the parabola will open down. For example, in the equation y equals x squared, the coefficient of x squared is positive 1. Because a is positive, the parabola opens upward. And in the equation y equals negative x squared, the coefficient of x squared is negative 1. Because a is negative, the parabola opens downward. Another rule to remember is how the size of the coefficient affects the width of the parabola. If the absolute value of the coefficient of x squared is between 0 and 1, like a fraction, the graph of the parabola will be wider than y equals x squared. Let's check out a quick example. First, look at the graph for y equals x squared. Now look at the equation y equals 1 third x squared. Because a is 1 third and 1 third is between 0 and 1, the graph of the parabola is wider than the graph of y equals x squared. When the absolute value of a is greater than 1, the parabola will be narrower than y equals x squared. For example, the graph of y equals 4x squared is narrower than the graph of y equals x squared. Now let's look at how the coefficient b affects the parabola. The value of b shifts the parabola to the left or right. In the equation y equals x squared minus x, then b, the coefficient of x, is negative 1. Because the coefficient of x is negative, the parabola is shifted to the right. And if b is positive, the parabola will be shifted to the left. Finally, the value of c is the constant that controls the shift of the y-intercept, or where the parabola intersects the y-axis. The value of c, the constant in the formula, is the y-intercept or where the parabola intersects the y-axis. If c is positive, the y-intercept will also be positive. In this example, y equals x squared plus 1. The constant c is positive 1, so the y-intercept will be 1. Remember, if c is negative, the y-intercept will also be negative. In the equation y equals x squared minus 1, and the constant c is negative 1, so the curve intersects the y-axis when y equals negative 1. Okay, let's look at an ACT problem that asks about the graph of a parabola when the equation is given in standard form. Consider this problem as we underline the facts and circle the keywords of the question. If the function f is defined by f of x equals x squared minus mx minus n, where m and n are positive constants, which of the following is a possible graph of f? In the equation of this parabola, a, the coefficient of x squared, is 1. Therefore, the parabola is cupped upward. We can eliminate choices a and b as they're cupped downward. We know that b, the coefficient of x, is negative m. Since b is negative, the parabola is shifted to the right. The only graph remaining that is shifted to the right is graph c, so c is the answer. However, if you didn't remember the rule about coefficient b, you could try to eliminate more choices using the constant c, which in this question is n. Because n is negative, it means the y-intercept is below the x-axis. Choice e has a positive y-intercept, and we want a negative y-intercept, so we can eliminate choice e. 
That would leave you with choices C and D, where you could use the rule for coefficient b to find the answer. Let's look at the vertex form of the parabola and how it might appear on the ACT. The equation of a parabola will sometimes be given in vertex form. y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. The vertex, or turning point of the parabola, is the coordinate point h, k. In this sample equation of a parabola, y equals x minus 3 quantity squared plus 5 is in vertex form, and its vertex is at 3, 5. All parabolas that open upward or downward have a vertical axis of symmetry that passes through the x-coordinate of the parabola's vertex. The axis of symmetry is the line that passes through the vertex of a parabola. Using the same example, this parabola has an axis of symmetry at x equals 3 because the x-coordinate of the vertex is 3. Any two points on this parabola that have the same y-coordinate will be the same distance from the axis of symmetry. For instance, on this parabola, the point 0, 14 is a distance of 3 from the axis of symmetry, so the matching point on the opposite side of the parabola will also be 3 from the axis of symmetry. That will be the point 6, 14. Now let's look at an ACT question that uses the axis of symmetry in the solution of the problem. We'll underline the facts, circle the keywords of the equation, and label the answers. A parabola with an equation of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c has the point 5, 2 as its vertex. If 2, 4 also lies on the parabola, which of the following is another point on the parabola? The answer choices are another point on the parabola. Let's draw a quick graph and label the point that's been given as a point on the parabola, which is 2, 4, as well as the vertex of the parabola, which is 5, 2. Because we know the axis of symmetry will pass through the x-coordinate of the vertex, we know that the axis of symmetry is x equals 5. We're given the coordinate 2, 4. The point 2, 4 is a distance of 3 from the axis of symmetry. Continuing another 3 to the right of the axis of symmetry, the other point on the parabola will be 8, 4. Looking at our possible answers, D is the correct choice. Here's a treat for that one. The standard and vertex formulas of the parabola can tell us a lot about where the parabola sits on the graph. I know this was a lot of information. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you might want to go outside and kick around a soccer ball to see some parabolas in action.